finally, 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 guys. So I was working out and I realized that I had a few tutorials to do so I stopped what I was doing. I was like let me get this done because I wouldn't have time during the week to do this. This tutorial I was not going to do. Um, I saw this product all over YouTube. Everyone's doing a review on it and I didn't want to do it. but. Every store I went to, I kept seeing the same product over and over. So I was like, okay, maybe I should do it and just see what the hype is about. Because personally, I have my favorite. And I decided to do this tutorial because I want to see if it lives up to the same standard of that product that I really love. So if you don't know by now by the title, I'm doing a review slash demo on the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And this is what it looks like. So this is the Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation and in most of my videos I actually use the Pore, matte poreless fit me foundation and I absolutely love this foundation. So I decided to do this tutorial to try it out just to see if it lives up to the standard of the Fit Me Foundation because I absolutely love this foundation. So yeah, so I picked out the one in the color 330 Toffee Caramel. Um, there was another one, I believe it was Honey, and that's close to my skin tone too, but it looked a little bit light. So I decided to go for this one because, guys, my skin has been acting up. I don't know what's going on with my skin. I'm not breaking out. I don't have pimples. I don't have acne. But for some reason, like around my chin area and my forehead, like right there, it's been like discolored it's like dark i tried to figure out if i was using something that was not agreeing with my skin i stopped a lot of the stuff i was using on my skin but it's still there so i have to figure out what's going on because i have no acne i don't have breakout problems and i don't know why it's turning color i i know it's got to be hormonal like maybe my hormones are trying to balance itself out get back to normal who knows but that's neither here nor there let's get right into the tutorial on this foundation so yeah this foundation is really popular on youtube right now pretty much it's supposed to be it's saying it's full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear seamless matte finish breathable and comfortable fade and transfer resistant okay i want to see that one because a lot of them that a lot of them that says fade and transfer resistant it's usually never the case so let's see what this foundation is working with and it says it's oil free doesn't clog pores that's a plus for me dermatologist tested and it's 24 hour so let's get right into it guys normally i color correct the darkness that's going on on my skin but i decided not to color correct or maybe i'll color correct one side and not the other because I want to see what the foundation, like how it truly covers. So I'm going to color correct maybe around the chin area and leave the rest of my face. So yeah, let's get right into this guys. 
And the color corrector I'm using, it's by Maybelline also, the brand Maybelline. I don't know, this light may be too bright, I don't know. Guys, I'm gonna turn down the light a little bit so you can see the product because I always have this problem in most of my videos. I think the light is too bright, so let me turn it down so you can see what it is. Okay, so that's what I'm going to color correct with. I'm just gonna use it around my, this area. Okay guys, so now that I'm done color correcting, I'm going to apply the foundation and I'm using my e.l.f. brush to apply this. I'm not putting on any, I'm not putting on any primer. And the thing I love about this foundation is that it has a pump, you guys. And this foundation come in many different shades. I'm actually gonna insert a pic of all the shades so you guys can see. And the price point on this foundation, I believe it was $12.99. I bought it from Rite Aid and I got a discount on it. So that was cool. So let me... Oh, I want to spray my face. I'm just going to spray my face a little bit, guys. Okay. And this foundation, I'm gonna put it on my hand so you guys can see. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. Let me put it close so you guys can see it. It's pretty thick, it's not runny on the hand. I like that. Oh, I think I put too much, guys. All right. Apply this. Okay. So the color I got is not too bad. Okay. Let me put this here back. Oh my gosh, I don't want to get this on the hair. Wow, so a little bit does go a long way. It is a full coverage foundation, that's for sure. Okay, Maybelline. I see y'all. Okay. And it feels lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's a heavy makeup. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It feels light. Okay. And it's smooth and it's cr really creamy, guys. I love foundation that's creamy and it's really creamy. Let me just move this here out of the way. I like the fact that it doesn't like, it dries fast, but it doesn't, mm, I got lipstick on my teeth, guys. It dries fast, 
it dries fast, but it doesn't dry too fast to where it's drying before you can even blend it in. Yes, Maybelline. Hold on guys, I have one second guys, I have to go get something to put around my hair because I don't I'm doing a tutorial on this hair after and I don't want to get makeup on it, so I have to get something to put in my hair. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's finish this up. I'm just going to add a little bit more on my forehead. So can you guys see where I'm talking about where the discoloration is? It's like it won't go away. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing the lace fronts or the wigs. I don't, I don't think so though, but... So guys, I'm loving this foundation so far. I got the perfect color for my skin. Yeah, this foundation is giving a really nice, flawless finish. And it feels super light on the skin. Oh my gosh. Maybelline fit me. You got competition, girl. I'm trying so hard not to mess up my brows. And watch me mess this shit up. And the thing is, guys, I didn't even put that much on. So, unless your skin is like really bad, if you have a lot of pigment too. If you have a lot of acne scarring on your skin, you may need a little bit more, but I didn't use that much. And it covered everything. Okay, so it says it lasts 24 hours. I don't think anybody should be wearing makeup for 24 hours. I definitely won't be. Um, I don't even wear it for that long. Not even, I think the longest I've gone with makeup on is like maybe, maybe three to four hours. I don't like to keep foundation on that long, to be honest with you. Oh my God, this foundation is giving me life right now. I love the coverage. I love how it feels. Feels super light. It doesn't like dry too quickly. And it dries to a matte finish, guys. So if you have oily skin, this is a good foundation for you. And the thing is, if you have dry skin too, I feel like it's a good foundation because it's not, 
it's not super matte and it's not like oh my gosh i'm getting mustache guys it's not super matte and it's not too what's the word what's the other word Yeah, it's not too matte, but people with um, dry skin can wear this too. Oh my gosh, the coverage on this is awesome. And this is where I color corrected and it covered it perfectly. And this is where I didn't color correct and it matched evenly with my skin. It matched evenly. And this is where I didn't color correct and it looks fine. It covered perfectly. So, okay, so this is a foundation that has really good coverage. And super light on the skin. Yes, guys, I'm really, really loving this foundation. I didn't even put a lot. Make sure you bring it down to your neck, guys, if you get a shade that's lighter or darker. What is that saying? This, this foundation is a must have. It's, to be honest with you, I feel like it's up there with some of the high end foundations. And the way it feels on the skin, like it's matte, but I feel like you don't have to put a powder on. No, this, yes. So guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sort of put this foundation to the test. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing some workout, doing some sit-ups and stuff like that, just to see if it, you know, like how it holds up. I mean, I know I need a whole day of walking around to see how it holds up, but I'm gonna be working out. It kind of gives me a clue to how it would hold up. So guys, I'll be back in about 45 minutes to give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation. But so far, I'm loving it, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I worked out for 45 minutes. I was doing some sit-ups. I was dancing all around the house. I cleaned up a little bit. And my makeup did not budge, guys. Like, it's still intact like it didn't even move and i didn't put any primer on so this foundation is a thumbs up for me i actually really really love this foundation i'm actually gonna wear it tomorrow to work i usually don't wear makeup to work but i'm gonna put this on and wear it to work tomorrow just to see how just to see how it holds up during the day but for the little bit of time that I was active, it didn't move. So, as you guys can see, it didn't move at all. So, this foundation is definitely a go for me. So, guys, I'm going to end this video because I still have a lot more recording to do. I'm going to do the finish my blonde ambition series so guys thank you for watching my channel i really appreciate all the love i've been getting 
and if you can click that notification button so whenever I upload a video you guys can get them right away and please like share and subscribe guys I'm trying to get my subscriber count up so please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video Mwah.